Hey guys, it's Sammy here from The Ohio Fisherman, We're here with a kind of a different topic video, project video. Um, I'm going to be building a blow-through forge, foundry type thing out of um, plaster and dirt. So basically, um, what I'm going to do is, this here is Sculpey with a bunch of wires poked through it. This will make a um, a grate with a thing so I can blow air through the bottom. I'll put this in the bottom of this bucket, center it up right there, so that'll make a cavity in there, and then I'll put this cup full of water on here, just like this. And then I'm going to mix half plaster and this, this is just topsoil, but it's nice and loose, fine topsoil. It's a little clumpier than I'd like, but it should be all right. And I'll mix that half and half together and then pour in that through here. And then I should have just a good old forge ready to go. So I'm going to get that together and keep you guys updated. All right, guys, I got it. Oh, it's all set up. The plaster's all set up. I dug out all that Sculpey down there. As you can see, there's a nice hole in the bottom with some wires so to keep all the charcoal or wood or whatever I'm burning in there. And then uh, the idea is to put it on top of a fan like this one. And, you know, turn the fan on. And it'll blow up air up through it. So, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, Sammy here from the Ohio Fisherman with that foundry I made. I got uh, got it running. Hooked up to the hair dryer with just water bottles that run up to that hole in the bottom. Um, the, it's, it's cold enough to touch it. I mean, it's warm, but you can touch the sides of it for a little bit without getting burned. And the bucket itself, I mean, it's cool to the, it's warm, but I can touch it just fine. I got, it's going pretty good in there. I'm trying, uh, I've successfully melted some lead that I poured right there. I'm trying to melt an aluminum can now, so uh, we'll see if it can do that. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, we uh, ended our run trying to melt aluminum and we couldn't get it to melt. Here's what the foundry looks like now. As you can see, it's getting all cracked up. But uh, here's that little thing of lead that we melted. So if you were just looking to melt lead and anything, you know, around that temperature that melts, that lead melts at about 620, um, about 620 Fahrenheit. I'm sure we got hotter than that. I'd I'd guess around 900 to 1,000 degrees we got up to, but aluminum melts at uh, about 1,200. It looked like the aluminum was kind of like, it started up towards the center of the can and it moved down towards the bottom, but it wasn't melting. I think we got probably close to melting temperature, but we couldn't quite get it there. Um, I was pumping all kinds of heat through it and feeding all kinds of wood through it, and it just just couldn't get there, and it's cracking and it's getting crumbly the lining's getting crumbly so um i'll probably try a plaster and sand mix next or i'll just take this one. Ooh, that's hot that's real hot yeah i'll uh either take a yeah plaster and i'll probably take a plaster and sand mix and start over or just cast around this whole thing with an, um, more plaster, just make the walls thicker and try to do it that way and we'll see how that works. Cause you know, these, these walls are less than an inch thick in some spots, probably around an inch thick most of the way around, but we'll make that thicker and um, 
try to beef it up a little bit and try to get it maybe use charcoal next time to uh try to bring up that temperature to get it to where we need to go but you know it's a learning experience and i, I just kind of did it to uh do it so thanks for watching